falling stars of our most revelation will forever see the faint insight drawn by the overwhelming question as only the true inquiry shapes the edge of thought. The rest is vulgar fiction, attempts to impose order on the consensus mantlings of uncaring godhead first. Bring you forth the love-struck mute who prays with vigor on his love and set the sky alight with all who dare to struggle against our mauve. For we are they who own the night, and all who dwell without us fall. We drink the mind grapes formed of thought, and well a tumult on the wall, to sweep into... I stared at my reflection in the metal, wondering if my face had hardened to match my inner mood. I had been working the piece for days, and the forge's swelter was taking its toll. I always came to the metal shop when the dark swim over me, and today was no exception. In the midst of this... A city of ink seeds rose from the desert, shining and decadent. Somehow, it still stood. I crossed through the gate, and the beast knew exactly where to take me. The way worn by beggars and poets. The only place a man of my appetites can find satisfaction. I'm not proud, but then nobody ever is. The Sallow Regent by Alfred Lecrafter. Act 1, Scene 1. Entered Philomena with broken scepter. Philomena. Woe betide my fate-wrecked heart, which gives no tender shine to he, who gave his favors up to gods, and brought his blood-struck mind to me. During the ring of the opening, I took notice the various patterns of and the thoughts and behaviors of a troubled populace, and undertook a humble plan to comprehend, and, in the end, affect them. Being of ordered mind, I began my taxonomy in the lower classes, which divided evenly into those who... As the great ships of men crawled the waves to their destinies, there were, after long years, a number of tales lost in the midst of mourning. Even after the forgetting, though, wisps of story find ways to receptive ears, even as the deepest of secrets never truly die.